past almost like two years we have seen London very empty. And let's not forget we're talking about a city which used to be the third most visited city in the entire world, right after Bangkok and Paris. But after 2020 the streets which used to be packed with people looked more like a ghost town. But the question is, has London bounced back and can you actually visit the city at the moment? Hi Curious Gang, it's your London friend Vasi that loves her city and also loves traveling and in today's video we're doing a little bit of both we're talking about traveling to London and I actually haven't been in the city since July so I feel a little bit like a tourist here at the moment and in this video I want to share with you my experience of traveling from my home country Bulgaria to London I want to tell you how did this go all the documents that you need all the bits and pieces and also tell you what are the restrictions here at the moment what can you expect when you come into London I had my flight from Sofia, Bulgaria, but before I could even take on the flight, I had to pre-book a day two PCR test, complete the passenger's locator's form, and also do a pre-departure test, and yeah, and it was a little bit of a headache. And this is how it went at the airport. First of all, I wasn't actually given a boarding pass and I was actually asked to go to like one of the check-in points and there they like quickly scan through all the documents that I had but when I say scan through they literally ask me oh do you have like your uh, your pre-boarding test, do you have the PCR and I was like yeah, yeah, do you want to see it? They literally like just gave it a look for literally one second and this was it and after that they gave me my boarding pass and literally like from there all the flight went pretty much as usual and I was expecting that maybe someone else would ask for it before I board but no not at all. Great news for all of you guys and all fellow travelers and in case you haven't heard about it there are new travel rules that come into place into the UK and they're finally removing the super complicated travel light system and it will be replaced by a single red list which is way easier to handle and coming into force from the 4th of October for all fully vaccinated travelers uh, you need to book and prepay the day 2 COVID test but it can also be an antigen test which is way cheaper and of course like you still need to complete the passenger's locator form but you no longer need to take a pre-departure test or take a day 8 COVID test or also quarantine and uh, this just makes everything so much easier and also way cheaper but if you're not vaccinated then it's like a totally different story so definitely look into that and you guys if you enjoyed this video and all these useful tips don't forget to subscribe and uh, join the curious gang once I landed like we went into this like huge tunnel it was all filled up with people we were like going literally with like two meters per minute and it was very very slow and once we went in there we literally like just passed through the regular passport check and no one checked our documents again and I have to say like this was a little bit disappointing because you spend like so much time writing and like filling it out but in the end of the day it feels like no one actually cared and you guys guess actually how much time did they spend waiting at the airport to get out just just give it a rough guess and since I'm coming from like green list country I didn't actually have to quarantine or anything but I still have to do like the day two test so let me show you also how this whole process went and also uh, did someone actually check on me what do you think if you're interested from where I ordered my test I used the website of uh, Dante labs and I got the PCR test which uh, which was on sale when it was only, I mean, not only because it's still a lot of money, it was 48 pounds and to be honest with you, it was like one of the cheapest options that I found. Basically, this is how it comes. It comes with instructions. I take my, my sample here, then I have to put it in here. 
but I have to be honest with you like no one has called me so far or like when Ben came back from Greece when was it in July he also had to quarantine and they were calling him every day whereas now okay I came from a green list country but at the same time I feel like it's not as strict as it used to be And this whole process from start to finish it took me like not more than five to ten minutes but let's be honest it's not like the most pleasant thing that you want to do and since i haven't been in london since july i kind of feel like a tourist at the moment in here so let's see actually how many things have changed in here are you ready because honestly i was not ready for all these changes and as you can see like everything looks pretty normal and this is because like pretty much everything is open including like nightclubs, cinemas and theaters like also the hotels are open even masks are optional if like before London was filled up to like 50% of the people at the moment it's like 80 or 90 it's like almost full on and I have to say like here in Chelsea there is like this flower thingy and I can see like tons of people taking photos and it's beautiful and everyone is enjoying life and it kind of feels good and like really back to normal and in case you're wondering like what is this flowery thing I'm talking about it is basically a flower art competition which takes its place in Chelsea and it is in between the retailers, restaurants and hotels and the theme this year is Extraordinary Voyages and this is the winner from this year's competition and to finally answer your question, can you travel to London right now? Well, my answer is yes, especially if you have been thinking about it for a long time. I don't think that traveling has been more simple or also cheaper ever since the pandemic started. And I have to say life here definitely feels very normal. So I'm pretty sure you will enjoy your trip. And if you ever need some advice, you can always ask me. And if you enjoyed this video and you want more videos from London or like free travel tips, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Love you all. Bye, curious gang.